I just cancel that one. Okay, so uh, hello, folks. This is Tony Peacock here. Um, I'm actually, uh, you know, talking to you live from Moscow, and uh, I have here with me Tony Hayes, who is the creator of uh, Commando HQ, SEO Commando HQ. G'day, Tony. Hi, hi, Tony. How are you? <laughs> not bad, mate. Not bad. <laughs> Um, just to give people a little bit of information, um, my background, uh, as you know, is uh, I sort of do a lot with video marketing, mobile marketing, press releases, and now Wi-Fi marketing. And uh, I actually purchased your uh, software, and uh, yeah. I use that in my everyday business. Um, uh, maybe you could sort of tell people a little bit about yourself and uh, how you got into internet marketing, that type of thing. Uh, okay, well, internet marketing I've been interested in for a long, long time. I, I didn't really seriously start getting into it until I think 2006. And that was because I had a recruitment business, I had an international recruitment business at that time. And so I had actually hired uh, an SEO company to build a website. And I thought I was being smart because they would know what to do to make the, the website rank and things. But they were crap. They were really crap. And it cost me something like £20,000 at the time to get this done. And it was really wow. expensive, and it, it didn't rank at all. And every time I asked her about it, she gave me some mumbo jumbo that I hardly understood. So I could really go back and get another SEO company, but it was really essential for my business at that time for me to grow. At that I learned how to do it, so I started to learn it myself, and I got pretty good at it um, pretty quickly. And we started to make you know decent money just from the internet marketing from that particular website, and. Uh, we actually had to build a website again, but we, we started to do a lot of business. We were doing, you know, over a million dollars a ton over a year, and that was from internet marketing back in 2006. Not in the sense that in the way I'm doing it now, um, where I'm teaching SEO stuff and I'm creating softwares and products, but I was actually using it for a business and I was making a ton of money from it. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah. It's, it's interesting that you moved into video because <clears throat> I think it was... Um, I think you told me, or it was on your website, or I read somewhere that, like, the CEO of YouTube uh, predicts that in the next coming years, 90% of all traffic will be video traffic. Uh, yeah, I think video is just becoming an essential part. What we really need to be doing with any SEO, any SEO, even on the web pages, is you've got to reduce your bounce rate, and one of the easiest ways to do that is with video. So people are making video to make the pages multimedia friendly, so they've got images, they're using uh, infographics, they're using video and podcasts, all kinds of stuff they will put in there, um, things like... Um, as slideshows and stuff like that, it's just becoming more and more popular and the reason for that is because it's reducing the bounce rate and that will help with the rankings. But I started writing on the wall um, just after Panda hit actually, I was bang in the middle of a live campaign <laughs> and it was a 12 week course and we were going really, really well for about, I don't know, six, seven, eight weeks or something like that and we were hitting page one for multiple keywords and all of a sudden Panda hit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bang of a lot of campaign, but hey, at least I was brave enough to do it because everybody else is talking about theory and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we managed to pull ourselves together and uh, you know get get some money out of the campaign and stuff like that. But um, that was just unfortunate. At that point, though, I had just done I think one of the bonus sessions I had done for it was a weekly course and it was about two hours content every single week. And um, one of the bonuses I did was about YouTube. Um, marketing. And after I sort of finished the course, I thought, you know, I should really dig into YouTube a bit more. It's going to be easier to rank videos and stuff like that. So what I did is I started to look at YouTube. Only about, oh, just over a year ago, we had created the first YouTube software. And now we've actually got over 40 kicking about. And there's 26 in the Commando HQ suite. And there were some various other ones that never made it onto Commando HQ suite. Uh, I just took them off, but I didn't want to use them. But overall, we did about 40 um, YouTube SEO softwares in that year. But the, the thing is, video is much easier to rank. And in the live campaign I'm doing right now, I mean, you can get away with things that you, can, you, you cannot do with the website. And I was just demonstrating that just for the purposes of getting quick rankings until we get social shares and that. Then I can take things off. Things like keyword stuffing and stuff like that. So uh, I got a I got a, a keyword tool from um, 
Uh, he's known as Techno on the Warrior form. His name is Radu, and he did a, a keyword tool called Keyword Buddy. It was launched just, just this week, and it's quite good because you can put in these um, questions, and you can put in just a keyword, like you can put in YouTube RSS feed or and do the plural version of it. So I put how to and an asterisk in this YouTube RSS feed, and the asterisk will, will represent anything in between that it can go and find on Google. So I got a whole bunch of these how-to questions about our, about YouTube our RSS feeds, and I put them all into the tags and the keyword stuff at the bottom of the post I done in, in the description, and we were ranking really, really fast. So yeah, you can get away with that kind of stuff, but it has to come off once you start to get the, the social shares and stuff like that. Right. Kind of. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I've noticed, mm. uh, well, I tell clients that uh, the good thing with video is it helps kind of build up a relationship. You know, people um, don't trust people anymore and they don't like to read stuff. So if you can have a video that's like ranking, um, you know, the person's going to likely to click on that video as opposed to click on a text link and then they, you know, they watch the video and the video kind of can warm them up about the product or about the service. And so by the time yeah. they get to sort of like the website or the shop or whatever, they're kind of, you know, cash in hand ready to buy. Uh, yeah, if you do your video correctly, I mean, there's, there's several ways that you can get across. I mean, to get the, to get the, the, the click rates, first of all, you need to have compelling headlines. I mean, we can't do headlines anymore like we used to be doing, which, which never really works anyway. I mean, if you look at SEO today with all the updates with the hummingbird, whatever you want to call it, it's all about... Um, the, it's all about the user, right? And before it was all about keywords, and now it's all about user intent. Okay. SEO hasn't really changed if you think about it. Where if you had a compelling headline, great content, call to action, then people will take action, okay? And you will rank quite well because you will get social shares and things like that. That aspect hasn't really changed because you still need to have quality content. You should always have been having the, the sort of compelling headlines and stuff anyway to improve your click through rate. But what the SEO guys were doing and what they need to do is learn to be marketers is they were doing things like um, California dentist hyphen dentist California, those kind of crappy headlines and keyword stuff in the title and just thinking, oh yeah, I can get to number one on Google, but so what? Nobody's clicking on your video, mate. Nobody's clicking on your web page. It tells them nothing. You know, you're just keyword stuff and you're doing all this crap. And, you know, we got away with it for a while, but uh, it didn't really help with the click through rates and stuff like that. It didn't help people make money. And then it, eventually, you know, people start to think, well, you know, I can do SEO, but I can't make any money. But the reason they were not making money is because they were just not doing marketing. They were doing SEO without marketing. It doesn't work like that. So what's happening now with video, what, what the opportunity gives us, if you're using those compelling headlines, which we've actually built into one of the softwares in, in Commando HQ, that we can just generate them very, very quickly and easily. Um, and then you're going to increase your click through rate. But your description really needs to have calls to action. Then the content itself, it needs to be done in a way that will make people trust, know, like, and trust you, as the old sort of adage that we used to use. And that can be done via, you know, the sort of um, videos where your face is on there or your personality, you'll, you'll find your own voice doing things like, uh, like I did with the Camtasia videos where it's a screen share. Or you can do videos where it's like a webinar or something. Um, where you're not actually, you're not always seeing the person's face like in a hangout, but in a webinar you could be doing something educational where you're doing screen share, but there's a discussion going on as well. Those kind of things will always help, but for businesses it's always good, a good option to um, get, their, get their information out there, answer the questions that people have got to, uh, that, are, that people want answered. I mean, if most people are looking for a solution to a problem. And this is the big thing about hummingbirds as well, okay? If you're providing an answer to a question that is quite commonly asked, then you're going to rank quite high. Now, how you do that content can be the various ways that I just mentioned. But what I did once, we had a, a huge client in America. They were a franchise company. They had over 64 offices, I think. And we got them to do a, a webinar. And what I did is I didn't get involved in the webinar itself. What I did is I got the, the CEO to sit down and I got one of the other di directors to make up a bunch of questions, don't even tell them what those questions are, but the most common questions that they get asked about selling their franchise, like how easy, how easy is, is it to make money, uh, what support do I get, um, how's it going to cost, is there any way I can do split payments, um, how does the financing work, all that kind of stuff. So what they, what they did then is they had this question and answers um, section and then once we had that audio, 
we put some screenshots behind it, okay, which was basically the question written again and the answer transcribed. Okay. That little webinar generated for them at the last I heard because I fell out with them. The last I heard they had got three franchises from directly from doing that webinar and their franchises were worth one hundred thousand dollars. So you can wow. imagine uh, that's just the way that businesses can use um, things like video um, to make a major, major impact. Yeah, that's yeah. it's that's interesting. It's I mean, yeah. there's uh, I'm listening to you speaking, and I see that there's already some mistakes that I'm making. <laughs> and um, but uh, I do advise my clients, you know, to make a list of the ten most commonly asked questions. And then yeah. also a list of ten questions that people should be asking that they aren't asking, and to do videos on those as well. But um, yeah, I, I, okay. I think if you to simplify that, I mean I've got some similar experience. What I do um, whenever we do a launch or whenever I'm getting some support questions coming through, I I, I keep the, the interesting question, no matter how simple they might be. Um, I keep them to uh, in in, a, in a, a document, okay. And I've been meaning to do this for a long time, just to go through and make a little videos about all of them. Because sometimes, if we want to create link wheels with YouTube, for example, I need to do four or five quick videos, and some of these videos can take like one minute each. But to to not complicate things, like you mentioned, there like ten questions they should be asking. What you could do is you can bolt those on into the to the questions they are asking in a way that okay, well, I can see what your question is here. The answer is this and then because and then you're explaining what they're not asking. You're just taking that, that little step further and that's just a, a simpler way to do that. That's what I tend to do. Wow. Does that make awesome. sense? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now, of course, uh, the reason why I'm sort of talking to you today is because um, I came across uh, your software. I can't, someone recommended it or something like that. I can't even remember how I found it now. But, um, you know, for me, it's a great tool, particularly doing research on, um, you know, page rank and all of that kind of stuff. Now, of course, yeah. people can have amazing videos, they can have amazing content, they can produce incredible, you know, good quality productions, and that's the video itself. But, of course, then you've got to be able to market the video as well. You've got to be able to promote it. And that's kind of what led me to your software. Um, maybe you could sort of share with people, um, you know, about, uh, about the software and uh, what it can do for them. Well, the software's got it's got 26 different softwares in over uh, as well over 30 strategies, that, which are automated strategies, and these are all unique strategies of mine. And there's a lot more to come as well. Um, let's go back to the bit about marketing the video. Now, what you've got to realize is there's many ways to market a video. It's not just video, um, video on YouTube and video on website. Okay, you can be using Web 2.0 sites to syndicate, which will get you links and stuff, which is great for SEO, and we should all be doing that kind of stuff because it's push button, push button easy when using my software. Um, but things like press release with video, um, it can drive a lot of traffic. Press releases, guest posts with video, that is amazing um, strategy. I did that about uh, two years ago, and I did, I think, a total of I don't remember if it was three or five guest posts. I can't remember. What I did is I did guest posts with video, and we generated, or I generated. Um, about 10,000 visitors to my, my blog at that time when I did that, which was pretty amazing. And the reason I got away with it is because there's a website called um, is it myguestblog.com or myblogguest.com. Um, yeah, myblogguest.com, I think it's called. They, they only allow for one article to go to one um, person who is blogging, okay? But they had this rule with the infographics that they could put multiple places, so I contacted them and I said, well, why don't we, why don't, why can't we do that with video, but I can just, you know, give them some bullet points, but essentially video, like, but it's just a moving one kind of thing. And so she agreed and I got, you know, the same blog post on three to five different places, and it generated about 10,000 hits on my website really, really quickly. And all of that ties into SEO as well, okay? But when you're thinking about video, you think about traffic, not just SEO, because there's multiple ways to use video. Really, that there's multiple ways. It's just, it's just going everywhere now. Okay, well, going back to the software, um, well, it's, it's huge, and I, I think it confuses people sometimes because when they open it, they see this huge, big software, and it's got 26 <laughs> different softwares and strategies. 
But there are pretty easy if you just focus on one one at a time and one by one. So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm doing a live campaign, and it's a real campaign. It's actually something I'm I'm uh, I, I fully expect will generate six figures for me. Okay, and that is uh, I created a little website with that got some YouTube SEO tools, and I'm going to drive a lot of traffic, and we already have driven a lot of traffic to that. Now part of that will be using SEO, part of that will be using other resources, but I'm going to be using every single software and every single feature in Commando HQ as we go. So I'm getting maybe one or two videos done a day, mm -hmm. and it's building up nicely. But it's never a race to do these kind of things anyway. It's always good to take a step back and look and see what's happening in in the rings and stuff like that as well. And yeah. You know, it's just various strategies that are going to be built into that for traffic, but there's going to be a ton of SEO strategies as well. And we will be ranking for the keywords that we want to go for. There's no doubt about that. I will. I keep saying we. I think I must have a split personality or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to having. Um, uh, I, I used to do everything with my with my ex-wife, so I've still got the right. the, the same. <laughs> how, yeah. how many anyway. uh, how how many people out there are actually using your software? We had initially about 200 and it was over 260. We've gone uh, a little bit less now. We, we've lost okay. some people. We had uh, we had some people come in, test it, left. They didn't understand it. That's why I decided to do the live campaign. And we are right. updating all the tutorial videos as well. I just did. I think today I did about 12 tutorial videos. I haven't put them on YouTube yet, but yeah, I've, right. I'm redoing all the tutorial videos to avoid. Um, right. People coming in who might not, who just get scared when they see it, you know, it's just so big. But uh, each one on yeah. the, on uh, each one of the softwares and on, they're very very easy to use. The push button easy. Uh, I designed yeah. them for, for for me to use as well, you know. So I, I wanted right. it to make it as much automation as possible to to complete the strategies that I created, and we're getting we're getting pretty good. So. Well, that's good, you know, because. Um, I mean, we've all only got, uh, you know, they say the three guarantees in life are death, taxes, and 24 hours a day. And um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's good to sometimes have uh, some tools to help you automate the process. I know Google and YouTube are kind of clamping down on too much automation because there's, there's obviously people out there that kind of use these tools to really spam stuff. But um, I think using your tool in, the co in combination with some common sense and an actual strategy uh, is what can actually help people, you know, really get uh, some good assets on the internet that are going to be there for the long term. Yeah, well, the strategies, first of all, they're designed for the long term. They're not designed to be spamming. I mean, we do a lot of syndication. That is not spamming. Um, when we did the, the IFTTT strategies, and if, if you look in that um, sales page thread that we had on the Warrior Forum, people said, oh, that's a little bit black hat. And I said, well, actually, go and look underneath any YouTube video and click on the share button underneath, and what do you see? You see about nine or ten um, buttons under there for Pinterest, some upon Reddit, etc., etc., and that's from Google itself. It's Google inviting you to syndicate your content. Because a lot, of, a lot of people listen to a lot of crap out there, okay? And, you know, if you see something like that on Google, then obviously it's okay to syndicate your content. And I've heard even Matt Cut to himself, you know, if you make a blog post, what, what should you do next? Well, go and go to Dig and post it on Dig, post it on Stumble. I've heard him say that kind of things as well. So, yeah. um, you know, people have got misconceptions. There's a lot of new people coming in, inexperienced people. They're listening to everything they read on the WSO or something like that. And half of these people are making WSOs for the sake of making money. And so they're taking this stuff as gospel and they're not actually going and doing stuff. And there's so many people out there that are, they become like sponges for SEO kind of education, but they don't do They don't end trenches and do And until they do, they're just going to stay static. They won't make money. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to be like, what I call scared monkeys. <laughs> yeah. I call them scared monkeys because they don't actually go and take action. But they'll suck true. it up. And, you know, they, they, could get an edu they could get a university degree in SEO sort of stuff from what they've read and things like that. But that is it's, nothing. Uh, You've got to get in the trenches. The that's that's right. I mean, it's called the um, the shiny object syndrome. You know, I read once where a guy said, you know, I'm like a crow. If there's anything shiny out there, I go and buy it. 
And you know, I've <laughs> gone through that stage myself where I just buy a lot of stuff. But um, yeah. I, I think part of the reason why I'm doing this hangout with you today is to sort of help people understand that you know, once they get this particular software, they don't really need a lot of other programs if they want to work with video marketing. I mean, I myself, uh, you know, have clients. I do local marketing. I build mobile websites, and that was part of the reason why I got into video was to actually help, you know, rank the mobile sites and that kind of stuff. And that that's what led me to, you know, looking for software that could help, um, you know, do a lot more things for me and help save, you know, a lot more time. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the the, the thing is, going back to what I was saying, when people getting in the trenches and doing stuff. That's when you come up with ideas. That's when you come up with your own strategies. When you're learning what's working and what's not working. For example, I mean, every single every single software in that software suite is a unique strategy by me. They were created by being in the trenches and doing WSO. And then we automate them. I make them easy for people. So I say, like, here's a strategy. So I give out the course, I give out the training, and people like it, and then I automate it, and people buy it. So right. you know, some people have an information business. I've got a software business, so my information goes out saying, "Here's what works, and here's the automation for it." Okay, push the button, and this will happen for you. And that's the best way to do it. But these are good strategies, and those strategies that are built to last over the long term. You know, and right. you know, doing the live campaign. I've already, I've got now four WordPress plugins mapped out just from doing the live campaign, and that comes from being in the trenches and looking and thinking. I need something that can do this. For example, I wanted to put a, a content locker on on those page. So the first time a user goes to use a URSS tool, for example, it's free anyway. I can force them to do a Facebook share, or a Twitter share, or a Google Plus. And there's some content lockers out there where they will say, okay, then you, if you click that button, this little pop up will come up with this message. What's the message you want them to post when they post to Twitter? How stupid is that? <laughs> One of the biggest yeah. things in Hummingbird yeah. is about the anchor text variation. So everyone's going to have the same anchor text. Little simple things like that. So I've told my, my WordPress guy, get me within a week a plugin that will do this. But that we can vary, it. we can do variations of the anchor text. So every time somebody clicks a button to post on Twitter, then it's going to be a different anchor text. Okay, this is sensible, but this can only happen when you're in the trenches doing stuff. It's not something you sit at home and you know watching TV and you, you come off and think, okay, what will we make for a product? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You actually find yeah. these things when you're in the trenches, and when when they come up, it's kind of fun as well. I, I love doing the live campaigns, and I love doing them where people are actually watching and, and sort of waiting to see the results and stuff like that, but I'm always very, very confident we'll get results because it just comes with, with experience as well. But, Excellent. Yeah, but the strategies well, are good and they're normal. Right. Now, um, I know that uh, there's a few countries that don't allow us to sort of do all that we can do in, in a hangout as far as sharing, yeah. um, you know, like the yeah. screen for the software. So um, yeah. I'm going to provide a link for people to sort of click on to go and watch the videos, but I thought you might be able to perhaps share your screen just to show them that there is a, uh, a you know, what's actually in the membership section. Sure. Um, is that possible yeah. to do at your end or? Yeah, I can do this picture for, for web pages that are open. Um, let me just, bear with me a second, I've just got to find yeah. which. I do often. Is it hot where you are? Okay, so if I go, it's always hot here. Always, oh, okay. it's one of the. I'm looking out the window and it's, bloody, and it's, like, it's snowing like you wouldn't believe because I'm sitting in Moscow, so there's yeah. a lot of snow right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I lived in Riga in Latvia for ten years, so. I'm very, very right. familiar with the temperatures and things that you get there. We used to get sometimes minus 20. It was just awful, you know. Yeah. Um, and here it's just complete opposite. I, I, don't, I don't think I've put on a pair of uh, long pants since I got here. It's all with shorts and T-shirts. Right. Um, I'm still looking for a way to get this. Um, okay. Let me just try. All righty. see if it can come up now. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we can. Can you see? I can now see. If you can maybe scroll down, and I'll, I'll not say anything so that, uh, actually, I'll just see if I can click on your, there we go. 
So if you can scroll down the page, so you know, so basically once people go into the members area, they're going to see all of this stuff. They're going to see all the videos, step by step, strategies, everything that you could possibly imagine, all to do with video marketing. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I've got two courses going on right now. I've got this one called a multi-channel SEO blueprint, and this is basically a new feature that Google have introduced or YouTube have introduced, where you can have up to 50 channels with one Google Google account. Uh, this is massive for us. This is really, really massive for us. I can't uh, state that enough. There's so many opportunities for SEO, specifically for SEO, um, that we we're really, really going to um. um take the advantage of using the software. Right now, I, I had a conversation just before we got on, on the call, Tony, and yep. I asked my, my coder how long would it take us to do a multi-channel creator where we could put in one Google account, login details, and create 50 channels. And I said one to two days, so that's definitely going to happen. It's going to happen very, very quickly. Um, this is massive for us. We've got things in, in Commando HQ, for example, commenters and things like that. So imagine you've got 10 Google accounts, and on each Google account you've got 50 channels, okay? You only need 10 properties for that as well, right? Now this is getting into a little bit gray hat kind of stuff, but not if you do it properly, and not right. if you randomize it as well. So what we need to do is build in some randomization there, so it's not 50 channels commenting all the time, but if you've got 10, 10 accounts with 50 channels, and you had comments coming from 17, from one multi-channel and 23 from another and 32 from another. You can see the power of that where we, we can really build up some uh, interactivity. And that's wow. the big thing right now with, um, you know, people are talking about buying views on VEGX and things like that. It's the maddest thing in the world to do. They're buying views like 2,500 views and they're getting them in a 24-hour period. And I had a conversation right. with a uh, guy. A guy on Skype, and I said to him, "Well, you know, that's really great. How much did it cost you?" And he said, "Oh, about five dollars or whatever. I can't remember." And I said to him, "Well, how how long did it take you to get the views?" And he said, "Oh, 24 hours." And I said, "What happens after?" He said, "Oh, yeah, nothing." And I said, "Well, how many searches per month for that uh, keyword you were targeting?" And I can't remember if he said 200 or 300. So for a keyword that's getting 200 or 300 searches a month, it's getting 2,500 views in a 24-hour period, direct. To the actual video on YouTube, which is, it doesn't happen like that. You've got yeah. to have views from coming it's, from Web 2.0 sites, it's and surprising. so you've got to drip feed your views, and you've got to be in context with what your um, what your um, search volumes are. But you can even have four or five related terms. Okay, so that 200 right. might sort of build up all together to about 500, and then you can take into account social shares because if people like the content, they might share it and other people watch. So wow. you can build that up maybe up to about 650, 700, and then you can think about direct YouTube um, traffic because of you got a related video next to someone else's video, and somebody might click on that. So you might add another 100 or 200 or 300. For that. So okay, so that's the 1,000 views over 30 days, and you got something far, far more sensible. So we've built that in. But what people have got to really understand here is that with those kind of views, you expect to have some social activity. With the views comes interactivity. It's got to happen hand in hand. If it doesn't happen hand in hand, it's an even bigger footprint. Okay. So these guys are missing it both ways, and you've got to go to places where you can get social shares, or you've got to have very, very good content where it will create social shares in its own right, okay? But what we can do is we can use services and tools to create some social shares from individual IPs and um, from real people sharing. And they're not particularly expensive, but they're best used if they're done um, just to jump start, just to give it a jump start, give your campaign a jump start, and from there it, sh it should really take over on its own. But, um, you know, when you put all those kind of things together, the views and the commenting, the interactivity, the social sharing, that is what's making things rank today. And that's what happened on, we on websites too. It's not, not that much different, really. They want to see interactivity, and that means people commenting on blogs. They want to see sh uh, social shares. They want to see uh, what's the bounce rate um, on, on the website. And the biggest factor in the view is how long people watch a video for. Did they watch it for 100% um, yeah. time or they're bouncing straight off? Google can tell that on YouTube because they own YouTube. So um, that gives them a fair indication. So uh, we've got softwares inside the software suite that takes care of all of that. Okay, And awesome. you can see I've got these courses in here, multi-channel SEO blueprint, and this is, is going to develop. I actually stopped about halfway through. 
and I'm going to give it probably another week or two um, because I want to really build this up into something special. And this actually might be one course that I might launch on its own right. Um, it's just massive. It's a massive, massive op opportunity for us. And uh, put that together with the ability to do multiple comments like subscribes and stuff like that. Um, it's just massive. It's, I, I can't even, I can't stay it. Stay it <laughs> right, well, I was gonna right into my hands. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say... I was going to say there's so much that you've got going on there. We, uh, you know, it'd be great if we can do some like regular Google Hangouts. I mean, I've got to kind of wrap this up now because <coughs> I've got to I've got to head yeah. out for another appointment. But um, yeah, okay. maybe we could get together sort of like once a week or something like that and sort of go over each aspect just to help folks out there to understand how they could use this tool to really sort of leverage video marketing in their business. Would would, would that be? Would you be open to sort of doing a few more Hangouts? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm actually going to update the Tube Research Commander, which is a standalone um, software on its own right. It's in, included in Commander HQ. And what we can do is we can maybe let people um, test that particular software and we okay. can do it sort of a, a really a sort of discount price. And if they want to um, take a trial of Commander HQ uh, as part of the upsell, then we can deduct um, that money from their first month's membership. How does that sound? That that sounds awesome. I'll um I'll get the details off you. And I mean, there's there's going to be links, you know, below the video, of course. <laughs> and uh, we'll put all yeah. the details in that, and um, and then that way people can sort of check it out and take advantage of your offer, eh? Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it. And you know, they've got to start with the research, research um, stuff anyway. That's, that's where we we'll right. begin from. Um, are you still seeing my screen, or are you seeing me? Let me just. Take um, uh, you kind oh, of dropped off. You're bit uh, now. Yeah. yeah, now you're back. Okay, Tone. Yeah. Well, look, I I have to go. I've got a five o'clock uh, appointment, but I okay. really appreciate you, um, you know, getting together with me today. I look forward to sort of doing some more hangouts, and uh, you know, I think people can sort of tell from what we're talking about. We're not here just to make some sales. We're actually here to help educate people, and um, so let's get together next week. Um, have a great evening, and um, okay. is, there, is there anything you wanted to say before we end off? Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, as they say in Russia, das Vidanya. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tony, thank you. See you, see you mate. See you Bye.